What's up, Hair Business Blueprint? It's your hair business's best friend and also the world's first hair business streamer. Today, we are going to talk about marketing wigs. Okay. The wig industry has changed a lot in the last few years. You know, just about four or five years ago, lace frontal wigs were the talk of the town. Now we're into glueless wigs have become even more popular talking about different closure sizes. I actually was in the showroom today in private label talking about six by six and seven by seven options, which previously really weren't popular, but you have to stay ahead of the trends of what's going on. So a lot of people are moving from the 13 by four and 13 by six frontals. And they're moving over to something that's a little easier to manage, a little lighter on the edges. And that is generally going to be a closure wig, a glueless wig. They don't want all the glue to glue this thing down. They want a nice, clean HD lace, pre-cut with bleached knots, customized to perfection. Okay. It's all about the customization options right now. So the trend right now is... People are looking for the six by six, five by five value wise is fantastic, but they're getting into six by six and seven by seven closure wigs. And that is something that is a compromise between a four by four or five by five and a 13 by four frontal. So that's still going to give you a lot of lace and a very natural look. It's going to allow you to have deep side parts, deep middle parts. You can have the curved part. Okay. This are all things that we have to start looking at when we're selling wigs to clients, as well as customization options. As you guys know, private label wigs, I have it up here. This is all about customization, right? So this is something that uh, we built and basically you start with an inspiration. And this has been going pretty well. Well, I can't even show it to you because you have to be logged in because it's for professionals only. But basically, you go in and you can customize these wigs. What kind of customization? Professional color. So you start with the inspiration here. What kind of wig cap size do you have? Do you have bleach knots, pre-cut lace? These are all things that you have to think about when talking to your clients and being able to offer that. That's why this is becoming pretty popular because... As we know, it takes a while to do all these different things to the wigs for the full customizations. By the way, if you're just tuning in, this is the Hair Business Happy Hour. I called it the Happy Hour because we're recording right at five. Usually it's early in the morning I'm recording or later at night. But today we're doing a happy hour. Unfortunately, I left the Casamigos upstairs. Got a little fresh H2O because I'm not drinking anything tonight. It's a little early in the week for me. But back to the wigs, I want you guys to think of customization. Let me show you something that I've been working on. And this is going to be at private label. And you can copy my idea, marketing idea. Okay, so quick backstory. We get a lot of people that come into the private label locations and they are asking for, you know, small caps, large caps. Now, from an inventory standpoint and thinking about this, think about, oh, I'm a little bright there. There we go. Think about this from an inventory standpoint. You have 130 density, 150 density, 180, sometimes 220. You have closures, frontals, different styles. It is so many different SKUs. It's really tough to inventory all of these. So what do most hair companies do? They inventory a medium size cap wig. Now, that's fine, and we've been getting away with this for quite some time. But now, since it's 2024, people are looking for more customized options. I think the people that get to the market the quickest with allowing the consumer to customize their wig some will win. As an example, we had someone in the showroom yesterday. She's, she, she'll wear a, a medium wig, but it gets real frumpy in the back. We have people that, you know, they can squeeze a medium cap or they have to cut it and do some other things to it to fit it. Why not offer a small or large cap wig? I actually just had a wig come in today. It's for an alopecia client. I made her a small cap wig. A small cap is generally about 21.5 inches. This was still too big for her. So I went ahead and made an extra small. It's about 20 inches for her. 
So, oh, real quick. Hey, what's going on? I appreciate the comment there. Um, so think about the customization. Think about people with the hair loss. Okay. It's a growing concern. Shout out to Wig Medical. If you guys don't know, let me give my mentee a little shout out here. Wig Medical. You can check that out. Become a cranial prosthesis specialist. The hair. Oh, I guess I got to put it on the screen. The hair industry is slow right now. Okay. People aren't wearing, you know, as many bundles as long hair, but the medical wig industry is still booming. I'll put it in the comments. I know you guys are like, what's wig medical. Okay. A lot going on with this. I just met with India to talk about the next, next phase. Some exciting stuff going over there. The medical wig industry never slows down. It's the most consistent probably industry in the whole of all hair is wig medical, getting your certification and start offering medical grade wigs. But let me show you something else that I'm working on. This is, oh, let me share this. I'm using a program, monday.com. And I'm going to show you. So this is when you're going to go into the private label stores, I wanted to create a customizable form and you can copy this idea and you can do this as well. Okay. So obviously you're going to have the name, the email address, get their phone number. Then you're going to have wig cap size. Okay. If I might even have to do an option extra small because some people really do have extra small heads. Then you're going to have a texture. You're going to choose your different texture, but if it's inspiration, so these are all wigs on private label. Let me show you. Those are all inspiration. So if you're saying, hey, I really like this color, but I want it a little bit different. Don't worry. We got you covered. We're going to head over to private label extensions, wigs, glueless wigs. So this is, say, Aubrey. Say, hey, I wanted an Aubrey wig, but instead of 22 inches, I want 26 inches. I want it to be a small cap. And instead of 180 density, I want 220 density. That's what you're going to be able to put in here. You would put the Aubrey inspiration, your lace type. I want a five by five HD, the length. I said, I wanted a 26 inch. I want an extra thick density wig. Yes. I want the pre-cut lace because I don't want to do that. And obviously I want bleach knots. Who wants to, who likes bleach and knots? Does anyone here actually like bleach and knots? I mean, it's a pain. Glueless band. Why not? Parting. Okay. We got a free part left, middle, right. Okay. Let's do a middle part. Wig clips. I added the wig clips today because I was working with the team trying to really dive in on this form of like, okay, how specific should we get? I made the mistake and it's an easy fix. The woman with alopecia, the wig that we made for her, it had clips and they were like, Mikey, what is she going to clip it into? And I said, good point. So they're like, let us cut it off. And I was like, that we need to add to the form. Do they want wig clips? You have the side wig clips, you have a bag back wig clip or no clips at all. Do you want pickup or delivery? We can uh, send it to one of the stores for pickup, or we can ship it to the customer. And then I think if you hit ship to customer, there you go. It adds the shipping address. You see that? So, and then order notes, if there's any special orders. And then here's the key is we don't submit this order until it has been paid for. Once it's been paid for, you put the Shopify order number. We're on the Shopify system. They're doing this from point of sale and they will submit the order. As soon as the order is submitted, it goes to our wig customization team. They will start working on it. And then it also creates a project here on monday.com. And as it's getting worked on, the wig's getting worked on, they're going to be able to update the monday.com, um, I guess, what would we call that, order. So if someone calls in and they will and say, hey, can you give me an update on my custom wig? You can look at it and say, oh, yeah, it's actually shipped. It's going to be here at the Atlanta store in, let me track it, two days. Or maybe, oh, it's in the coloring process. So we're getting in real deep as far as offering different customization options for wigs. And if you're going to be marketing wigs in 2024, offering different customizations is going to be absolutely key. Let me give you another example. Private label wholesale. Let me show you what we're going to ha we have coming soon. Let's just say straight lace front wigs. Right now, let's say we have this kinky straight wig, okay? This is over at Private Label Wholesale. Shout out Private Label Wholesale. Let's throw that link in the description. I'll, sh I'll send the whole link. I'll put the whole wig in the description. I'm acting crazy today. Okay, so if you have this wig, you can choose the density. And then what about someone? So someone emailed us the other day, and it made me think about this, is they were like, hey, Mikey, um, I need a large wig cap. Okay. That's not an option on here. And that's something normally that, you know, is pretty common. Now here's the problem that you're going to get. 
that you're going to have is it's a development issue. You can either have a separate app to help or think of something new. What I mean is Shopify allows a hundred different variations. Okay. Now, if you have two, four, six, eight, 10, 11 lengths, and then three densities, that's 33. And then two here, that's 66. So we're already at 66. Now, if I wanted to add a small, medium, a large cap, that's three, we're at probably over 200 variations. It's not going to work. You're going to need a third party app. Now, how do we get around that? Okay. What can we break out of here? Well, we could do density. So basically what I would do is go into Shopify. I would duplicate this product. And then at the end, I would say 130 density. I dupl duplicate it 150 and then make one 180. And then instead of choose a density, it's going to be choose wig cap size. I'm telling you guys this, this is something we're going to do at private label wholesale. This is something that you can do for your websites as well. Let me make sure you can see that pretty lot larger. You don't need to see me. So you see what I'm saying? So basically we're going to create from this one product, we're going to create three products based on density. I think that makes mo the most sense. Technically we could even at this point add a 220 density, extra thick wig. Why not? Sometimes you need a 220 density, especially with a, a kinky straight. It's natural texture. It looks great with a high density. Okay. So think about that. Think about how you can customize your options for your customers. Cause this is going to be a huge selling point. Not everybody, most people are not going to go in this deep and they're not going to go ahead and make it as customizable for their clients. So what's going to happen? Maybe they're going to keep, maybe you're like, ah, Mikey, eh, I'm not worried about it. I'm okay. Maybe they're going to start finding people that are watching the hair business blueprint, watching me stream live and showing you the stuff. And they're going to find that and they're going to be like, oh, wait, I can get a large cap. I don't have to try to squeeze into this cap or, oh, I can get a small cap. I don't have to have a frumpy wig in the back or have all these other kind of alterations. This is a, offering the different products is a form of hair extension and wig marketing. Okay. Offer the different options. Maybe you don't want to pay a stylist, you know, $50, $75 to bleach knots. Why don't, you know, you can get it a, a private label wholesale, bleach knots, pre-cut lace, everything, glueless band, 10 bucks. People are buying these wigs up like crazy and they're just selling it to the customer and saying, yep, I customize it. They maybe took some tweezers, did a couple quick plucks and that's it. It was customized. They're not lying. So think about how you can do this for your clients. Think about what you're able to do. Think about how things now have to get more customizable. It's not, it's not like it was 10 years ago. And when I say customizable, I, I have to say you have to make it a public facing options. It's not just, you know, you come into your salon and for sure, it's a little easier if someone comes in your salon and you've been making wigs and you understand all this stuff and you can do this, right? And you can custom make these wigs. But you want to create systems front facing that people know Okay, cool. It says I make custom wigs. Okay, cool. Well, what are all the options? How, what's the cost? You know, people want to know this stuff. People need to know instantly. Why do I have bleach knots right there? I do not know. So we're talking about customization options. Okay. So think about that customization options for your wigs is going to be absolutely key and really start promoting that. And that's part of the marketing there. Okay. You're going to be promoting, you know, you can say, Hey, are you tired of having a frumpy wig because you need a small cap at XYZ hair company? We make wigs of all sizes, wig cap sizes, right? Oh, you want a professionally colored wig? Look at this one. And I can make the same one, meaning something like this. I can make this same wig for you, you know, and I can make it in different densities, different lengths, all the options. It's going to be absolutely key for your marketing is to have the different options. Cause what's really going to differentiate you between somebody else selling wigs. A lot of it's going to be the options, the service, how fast you're going to be able to do this. Once you get it, how's the presentation looking? Is it in a nice silky bag? What's going on with the presentation? You can't forget about this little things, you know, the customer follow-up, right? You can set email automations. We went through this um, we went through it in the hair business masterclass, by the way, shout out to the hair business masterclass. What's going on guys. I got some more classes coming for you this, uh, this week. So I hope you're ready. What's going on with the customizations 
and the follow-ups, okay? So you can have email marketing templates and automations automatically set up. If you're a new in business and you're not as busy, call the customer. Hey, how's the wig? What's going on? Maybe they're having problem caring for it, right? Think about your customer service as marketing for wigs. Because if you go above and beyond, maybe the wig wasn't 100% what they wanted, but the customer service was way above what they thought they were going to get. They're going to buy from you again, right? So talk to them, figure out what exactly is going on. Why is this not working? Right. Let's see. Is the customization just for medical or would be offered for via dropship? Um, customization is on private label wigs. You can sign up for free as a, um, is this, I think this is in the group. You can register right here and put the registration in as a professional. You can s sign up right now. There you go. You have access and the pricing on here is ridiculous. Like there's no way, I mean, you're going to be, this is going to be a huge profit center for you guys once you start selling these wigs, I promise you. Um, look, I got to make the live a little quick tonight. It has been, what did I say? I posted in the Facebook group, I think 27, 28 days in a row. I need a little break. I need to watch some TV. I don't get to see much TV. I need to do some stuff. I just want to say thank you so much, guys. Um, how do I get to here? You registered. You should have, uh, please check your email and check your spam. It's there. Okay. Um, yeah, hair business masterclass. I only made it five bucks because I'm like, whatever. Get in there. Make it cheap for you guys. I'm, I'm not trying to be a, a gatekeeper, but I want to keep the spammers out. Five bucks keeps the spammers out. That's what Twitter's trying to do. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow, tomorrow morning for sure. Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll have some more, uh, more hair business news. Thank you for being here at the Hair Business Happy.